Thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And uh, this news article comes to you from uh, one, the number one up can do. I want to thank you, One Up Can Do, for sending me this news report or you're sending a donation for this news report. If you guys out there have any celebrities that you want me to expose or any celebrities you want me to do a news report on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link, cash up link in the description box below. All right, so there's many, many things about uh, Nipsey Hussle I can expose. Many, many things. Just like Marathon Clothing Line. Look what the street, look at the street that Marathon Clothing Line is on. It's on 38th Street. The same number that um, Kodak, not Kodak, uh, the same number that um, NBA Youngboy was arrested on. He was arrested on 38th Street. Marathon Clothing 38th Street, 3800, not, not 38th Street, it's 3800, something like that, Street. Um, the same NBA young boy, when he was arrested at his video shoot, he was arrested on 38th Street. 38 represents blood sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Sadly to say, Nipsey Hussle was given them things that he obtained, you know, the marathon clothing, the different organizations, he was given that. That was all a part of the agenda. That was all part of the agenda. And his woman, Lauren London, knew exactly what she was doing. If you guys want to know who killed Nipsey Hussle, just look at Lauren London. She knew all exactly what was going on. You know what I'm saying? See, Lauren London was in the movie with T.I. called ATL. You guys know all that. You know what I'm saying? And when Nipsey Hussle had, you know what I'm saying, got killed, did you not know that it was on the anniversary of the ATL the movie? It was the, exactly on the anniversary. And guess what? At the time that they was in talks of remaking the movie. Go ahead and do your research, people. At the talks that they was remaking the movie. They were talking about remaking the movie ATL. I don't know if they did it yet. But I know at the time Nipsey Hussle got killed, there was in talks of remaking the movie. And he died on the anniversary of the movie. On his marathon clothing store, 3800 Boulevard or Street. But I know it's 38 something. That's the number of the street that is on. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when he died, it was a whole big damn visual. And mama came out doing all this spirituality. Let me get, let me tell you something, people. And I urge you guys to get into Bible study class, especially tonight. Tonight's Bible study class, we are going into ham. You know what I'm saying? And this America, you know what I'm saying, which is spiritual Sodom and Egypt, which is spiritual Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. And in order for you to understand what Babylon is all about, you got to get into class. I can do I can't do that much on these little ten minute videos. You know what I'm saying? I can I can teach you just a little bit, but in order to learn the, the whole meal with the side dishes and then you got the little wine on the side, 
you got to get into class. And you can get into class by going to 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. Go to 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. And I'll add, I'll just hit that follow button, that notification bell, so you can be notified when we go live with our nine Bible study class. It's tonight at 9 o'clock. But anyway, <clears throat> that thing that his mama was doing, you know what I'm saying, spirituality, and you know what I'm saying, and Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi was a juju priest. And in order for you to know what a juju priest is, like I said, you got to get in the class. Only You only can find a juju priest in the other most parts of Africa. You know what I'm saying? A juju priest is another word for damn voodoo doctor. Dr. Sabi was nothing more than a damn voodoo doctor. And notice this. Dr. Sabi died. His wife stayed alive. Say that again, people. Dr. Sabi died, his wife stayed alive. But they want to say, oh, they killed him because he was exposing, you know what I'm saying, and he was bringing out Dr. Sabi, and he, all of that was promotion for, you know what I'm saying, Nipsey Hussle. Because all of the Nipsey Hussle attire, gear, and music, who really got paid off for that? See, if you want to know the truth, just follow the money. Follow the money. The money will lead you to the truth. Because you got to understand, when Nipsey Hussle, you know what I'm saying, even though he was inside at the time, but he came out, he was official. He was, he was signed at one point in time. He was signed to a label at one point in time. And being that you were signed to a label at one point in time, when these celebrities, when these rappers or these musicians sign the label, they sign that contract to the label, and they also sign an insurance policy. So... Nipsey Hussle, whatever label that Nipsey Hussle was signed to, it doesn't matter if he wasn't signed at the time of his death. The point, and my point is, he was signed. And even though he was not signed at that point of his death, being that he was signed, that label still holds the policy holder of his insurance policy. And who knows how much that label got for Nipsey Hussle. Was it a mil? Was it two mil? Was it three mil? Was it ten mil? Who knows? But being that they caused this whole big thing over Nipsey Hussle, best believe the label got some money. Lauren London got her sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, for that movie, ATL, you know what I'm saying? And not only did she got her sacrifice for the movie, ATL, she also got a whole lot of other things being connected with Nipsey Hussle. You see how that worked? You know what I'm saying? Lauren, at the end of the day, Lauren London wins after this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle was a damn crip. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand what it is that our people praise as criminals. Our people love to big up criminals like, like George Floyd, the junkie. George Floyd was a straight up junkie, but our people, oh, justice for George Floyd. Nipsey Hussle was a damn gang banger. We should not be promoting gang banging. You know what I'm saying? But our people, oh, Nipsey Hussle, he was about to open up a, a book of Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi was a juju priest. If you know what a juju priest is, a juju priest is a voodoo doctor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was here telling you about the different herbs. But anybody tell you about the calabash tree? I bet you Dr. Sabi didn't say nothing about the calabash tree. And the calabash tree is right in Florida. You can pick the leaves off. And if you have coronavirus, if you make the leaves into a tea, you drink the tea. And guess what? Your chest is clear. Guess what? You got asthma. You drink the tea. Guess what? Your asthma is clear. But nobody tells you about the calabash tree. Dr. Sabi didn't say nothing about the Calabas tree. You know why? Because that's too much like speaking the truth. He'd rather tell you things that you have to go far 
in other countries to seek out because you cannot seek them here. That defeats the purpose because a lot of us can't go all the way to other countries to seek out the things that Dr. C.B. is talking about. Anyway, I, I, I'm going on too long. I can't do so much on these little 10-minute videos. But uh, like I said, tune into the Bible study class tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on 90.1 Israelite Radio. I want to thank you, One Up um, Can Do. For sending me a donation for this video. If you guys have any celebrities that you want me to expose, that will be a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. And the next video I do may be your video. Till next time, I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And uh, I think that's about wrapping up. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.